Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy. Oh, gee. D -d 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 and today we're taking a look at this cruiser board by Playshin called the Sandview Longboards 28 inch cruiser deck. So, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the board. I'm gonna be covering all the specs of the board, and then we're gonna be answering the question, is this a viable replacement for a Landiot Stingy cruiser board? Because this is significantly cheaper than the Landiot's ones, so we're gonna find out if that price difference makes the quality go down, or if it's about the same. So I received this board a few weeks ago from a company called Playshin. They actually emailed me and wanted to send me two boards, so this is the second of the two boards that we will be reviewing. The other one was reviewed a few weeks ago so if you want to check that out it'll be right there just want to let you guys know before the review starts that this video is 100% unbiased I have proof they sent me an email I'll put the email up on the screen so you can see the proof right here but yeah this is my full honest opinion I'm not biased in any way towards them so you're getting a 100% honest answer on the board so this board you can currently get on Amazon for $80 complete and that is a very very competitive price point it is $60 cheaper than the cheapest dinghy which is the most popular cruiser board on the market so it makes for a very compelling alternative that is possibly better so let's find out so let's start off with the build quality and we're gonna start with the deck so the deck of this board is 28 inches long and 9 inches wide at its widest point and the deck is very well built their website says that it is a 7 ply maple and 1 ply bamboo construction although I cannot find the bamboo in the board it looks to be just 7 ply maple but either way it is very strong and very lightweight which is always great and I also really like the concave on the sides of this deck. So concave is when the edges of the board are raised up so the board is not actually flat. And this board has pretty serious concave, which actually makes it really good for carving and pumping, especially on such a small footprint board like this. And as with most cruisers I've ridden, it's still not the most comfortable for really long rides. Your feet will get tired, but I will say that compared to my dinghy cruiser board, this one has lasted a little bit longer and is a little bit more comfortable. So that is a bonus for this board. But keep in mind that this discomfort is not a board specific problem. It's just a problem I have on a lot of small cruiser boards. Okay, let's go into the wheels now. So I would say for me, these wheels are pretty average for the cruiser board. They get the job done, they're not the fastest, and they stick to the ground a little bit more than what you want. And by stick, I mean more like grip, so it makes it move a little bit slower than it normally would otherwise. But like I said, this is a small complaint. The wheels are still pretty good. They go over a lot of rough, bumpy surfaces pretty smoothly, and you're not gonna be, you know, jolting up and down trying to ride this board because because it's not going to be a super bumpy ride, which is definitely appreciated. Now let's talk about the trucks. So these are your standard 100 millimeter aluminum alloy trucks, and they honestly look like just a knockoff of Paris trucks, and they perform very well for what they are. No complaints with the trucks. They're very turny, very carvy, and especially with the 83A durometer bushings, this makes for a great pairing for trucks. The bushings are nice and squishy, which makes cruising and carving phenomenal, which is exactly what you want in a cruiser board like this. So you're gonna have no problems with the trucks or the bushings on this deck, and yeah, zero complaints there. Oh, one thing to note, the trucks are actually on 0.12 inch riser pads. I don't know what that is in metric. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just makes sure that you're not going to get any wheel bite, which I've never gotten with this board. So one more thing you won't have to worry about, I suppose. And now let's get into its biggest problem. So just like the other Platian board I reviewed a couple weeks ago, this board's biggest problem is its bearings. And unfortunately, unlike the other board I reviewed, it's actually kind of problematic this time. These bearings, they're just they're just not good, plain and simple. They're just way too slow for me. And for a board like this, where I'm gonna be wanting to go somewhat fast around town, it's just not gonna cut it for me. So Platian, if you're watching this, you guys gotta upgrade your bearings or do something because these things, they're, they're just not good. I've ridden this a while, I've broken them in and they're still just, they don't perform the greatest. Like seriously, you have to push so much on this board just to get around, like it's just not fun and it's just not worth it. So here's the solution. Go to the store or go on Amazon when you buy this and add to cart $20 bones red bearings, $20. 
This will completely solve your problem and make the board completely viable and competitive with all other boards on the market. Bones Reds are seriously some of the best bearings on the market and for $20 it's a serious upgrade to a board that's already pretty inexpensive and I would highly recommend to purchase them with this. And finally let's quick talk about tricks on the board. So just like any cruiser you can do tricks but seriously be warned you can get injured on cruisers doing tricks so be very careful. Unlike skateboards, the cruiser boards have a very, very tiny nose that barely curves upwards, which means that when you're doing tricks that involve ollies or popping the board up, you're gonna have to take extra care to be very, very cautious because if your foot slips off the end, you could get injured just like I got injured for like almost two months last time that happened to me. So be very careful, but you can do it and the back tail is very high off the ground and it makes for popping the board and doing tricks pretty off, pretty, pretty easy. So that leaves us with the question, is this board better than the dinghy? And here's what I'm going to say to that. This board is pretty awesome. It's got an awesome deck, high quality trucks, good bearings, pretty decent wheels, and it makes it a very compelling competitor to the dinghy cruiser board. But here's the thing, with the current bearings that it comes with, it's, it's just not going to cut it. And I would not be able to recommend this over the dinghy because the bearings are just, the bearings let it down so much that I just can't recommend it the way it is. But here's the thing, if you spend an extra $20 to get Bones Reds with this board, that will bring your total cost up to $100, making it $40 cheaper than the cheapest dinghy on the market. And in my opinion, that right there is a steal. It is definitely more worth it than the dinghy, and I would 100% buy it if you plan on getting the Bones Reds with it. So with the added bearings, it is definitely worth it to get it over the dinghy. And those are my final thoughts on the board. If I miss anything, please let me know down in the comment section because I'd love to respond and answer any of your questions about the board. And if you're thinking about buying the board or Bones Red Bearings, definitely check the description because I have affiliate links on Amazon to those two products. And if you buy them through that link, I get a little bit percentage of that money to go towards me to help buy more boards to review on the channel and make higher quality awesome videos and it'd really be appreciated. So again, if you wanna buy any of those two products, definitely use the links down below. And that's it for the review guys. I hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something. Make sure to subscribe right down here and hit the bell notification while you're down there. You might as well. Anyways, it's been fun guys, but this is me, OG Den, signing out. You guys are awesome. Subscribe, be part of the OG gang, and I will see you in the next video on either Wednesday or Saturday. Peace out. Sounds like